बिस्मिल्लाहिर्रहमानिर्रहीम क्लास टेंथ सब्जेक्ट फिजिक्स यूनिट नंबर इलेवन टू डेज आवर टॉपिक अबाउट रिफ्लेक्शन टू डेज आवर टॉपिक रिफ्लेक्शन इको ऑफ साउंड व्हेन वी क्लाब आर शॉट नियर आर रिफ्लेक्टिंग सर्विस सच एज अ टॉल बिल्डिंग और अ माउंटेन we hear the same sound again a little later the sound which here is called an echo and the result of the reflection of the sound from the surface so first of all i will tell you about the definition the proper definition of echo is when a sound is incident on the surface of a medium it bounces back into the first medium this phenomena is called the echo of the echo are a reflection of sound the sensation of a sound uh, persists in our brain for about 0.1 second to a clear echo the time interval between our sound and the reflected sound must be at least 0.1 second if we consider the speed of sound to be 340 meter per second at a normal temperature in air we will hear the echo after 0.1 second the total distance covered by the sound from the point of generation of the reflecting surface and back should be at least 340 meter per second multiplied by 0.1 second that is equal to 34.0 meter so for hearing the distinct echoes the minimum distance of the obstacle from this source of sound must be a half of this centimeter means 17 cm echo may be heard more than once due to the successive or a multiple reflection if we uh, consider the speed of sound is 340 meter per second in air and multiplied by the time that is the sensation time that is about a 0.1 second multiply both we will get the exact distance that is equal to 34.0 meter that is the total distance traveled by a sound uh, we can say that when our we go on a mountain and we uh, speak and after some time we hear a uh, this sound again so the total distance is 34 if we take a uh, half of it that will be a 17 meter that mean the ecosystem returns with the distance that is equal to 17 meter echoes may be heard more than once due to the successive or a multiple reflection so here is the diagram of a echo here we can clearly understand that and that is a table and that is a wall and that is a screen and and here we can see the angle of incidence is here clock alarm we, uh, sound will be uh, goes like this and after bouncing back it comes to the here uh, within the five to the here that is the incident angle and that is a reflection angle so it can be here in this and after a zero point One second, and the new topic is speed of sound. So, uh, sound waves can transmitted by any medium containing particular particles that vibrate. So, uh, last time we also discussed that the sound cannot travel in a vacuum. So, the medium should be a contain on a particles that can be vibrate. So. Uh, however uh, the nature of the medium will be affected the speed of the sound uh, like you can say the in general form the speed of sound in a liquid is uh, five times than in gases because in gases uh, there are a uh, small parts of a distance between the particles and they cannot collide with each other like a solid or anything so that's why okay 
the speed of sound in solid is about a 15 times that in gases the speed of sound in air is affected by the change in some physical conditions such as a temperature pressure and humidity the speed of the sound in air is 343 meter per second at a room temperature 21 celsius Uh, speed of uh, sound uh, in solid and liquid is faster than in your following relation can be uh, used for finding the speed of sound v is equal to f lambda where v is the speed of uh, and f is the a frequency and lambda is the wavelength of the sound wave so this is our topic